this is nonpartisan, so it's... Yeah, yeah. So when I say the Republicans suck cock, I just mean that literally. I mean, you know, I'm not saying it as a judgment thing. Oh, Ted Haggard, how beautiful is that? That it, it wasn't just a hooker. It was a male prostitute and crank. The guy is a crank monkey boy fucker. Fucking each other. Fucking other people. What? You know how much lube that requires and just how demonic that sex is? That is close to demon fucking as you can get in the real world. You know, when Jesus wrote the Constitution, you know, he, well, he didn't literally write the Constitution, but you know, the, the Judeo-Christian values were right there in Freedom Hall. He guided that pen. I apologize if you're taking this personally. I don't want to mock the myths that define some of you. The proper response to uh, them saying, hey, evolution's just a theory, is you should say, well, thank goodness gravity's a law. I admire President Bush and I have come to defend him. And I am so proud as an American that we finally have a leader in the Oval Office who thinks Rwanda was JJ's sister on Good Times. It's all about oil, because oil's an expensive commodity. And I'm like, well, apparently you've never bought printer ink. Because anybody that's ever bought printer ink or toner knows that's the most expensive shit in the world. I'm tired of hearing all this bush bashing. Shit, man, that's like being tired of someone telling you your house is on fire. Have you heard the leader of the free world speak? It's like jazz. When this man freestyles, it's like Dr. Seuss on bad meth. The Supreme Court appointed the president, and um, we can't let that happen again. You know, you liberals, you live in a fantasy world. You know, you think it runs on raspberries and cinnamon. It doesn't. It runs on oil and the exploited labor of poor people. Are you American? <laughs> They want to keep it going for as long as possible to completely bankrupt this country, which would make the chasm between rich and poor so extreme, they'll actually be able to recruit for the, the armed forces in the future just by saying, hungry? Need a place to sleep, do you? Will kill for food? We cannot roll over again and let these guys take away the most precious thing we have in this country. Stand up, take it back. This democracy is not going to save itself.